Hello, hello, welcome back. Today I'll be watching Shogun episode 4. I do feel like today we're gonna start a whole new chapter. We left Osaka. Everybody has its name in the chess game, so to say. I feel like everybody's intentions and aspirations and dreams are becoming quite clear. And also a little bit of the schemes are being unfolded or being shown. I feel like everybody at this point know where they stand, who likes them, who dislikes them, and we go from here. And I'm very curious to see where this is gonna go. I feel like until now, you could guess a little bit what was gonna happen because they were all in the same place. Now we're all spread out and I'm very curious to see how we're gonna deal with this. I'm curious for the council, how they're gonna move forward. I love Mariko's storyline as well. Let's see how John is gonna do. And then of course, Toranaga, one of our favorites. So I'm excited to watch this episode. I hope you are as well. If you like it, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to see the edited versions and full length versions, you can find those over on Patreon two weeks ahead. So if you cannot wait for next episodes, make sure to check out Patreon. All right, let's go. Stop showing them. It rips my heart out. It was good for one episode. Stop doing it. <laughs> oh, and winter is here. It didn't take as long as it happens in Game of Thrones. <laughs> and this is mail service avant-garde. Thank God there's before Amazon or that poor boy <laughs> would be running. He's back in the ground. So what do they need to do if a great leader comes in clean? Yeah, <laughs> there we go. He seems nervous, but also excited. And I can understand that if somebody important visits your place. I don't know what that is. Oh boy, no way. I mean, her team, but I feel like it's very much tough life to do what you're told. But they both lost the same, right? I feel like it's different though because she didn't like her husband that much versus here it's her husband and her baby. And also she already liked the lord that she had to work for while this woman doesn't like the engine so... I feel like Yabushigi is always like, huh? Huh? <laughs> He's so good at looking surprised all the time. They were gonna impeach him anyway. Did they just tell him that he has to kill himself? We just move on. Whose army is that? Yabushige-sama's. All loyal to Toranaga-sama. Look at this. Aww. The scary part is you don't need many people to want him dead for it to actually work. <laughs> I need some liquor. This face. Smart, because we've seen that happen. Anjin-sama, this is Omi-sama. Actually, we've met. Goyo Shao, and fuck yourself, you sniveling little shitbrag. <laughs> I wish you would have seen Mariko's face be like, mm. I would think they would shout his name. He's so full of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my peeps, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, he's going to I think he didn't like that part. I think it was cool and until they shouted his name, well, well, they shouted his name until they shouted the person above him. <laughs> that 
that boozed ego. Your lord and I had an arrangement. That ship and its crew now belong to me. You're quite mistaken. Your ship and crew now belong to Toranaga-sama. And he will use them as he wishes. Yeah. Well, thank you for the clarification. It was very clear. I don't know how she's always so, like, stoic, you know? Oof. Konnichiwa, Wejiro-sama. We do not use sama for Wejiro. Oh. It is not proper. It's not proper to be overly polite either. He's just the gardener, which is like, oh, yikes. Everything here has been prepared specially by your staff. My staff? You don't have a crew, but you have a staff, which is nice as well. Why have I been given all this? It is only fitting for a Hatamoto. How would you translate that, though? As Hatamoto, you have been given a home, a generous salary of 240 koku a year. Wow. I don't want any generous cuckoos. Cuckoos. And Fujisama as a consort. Oh, the poor woman. She will look after your house and your servants, handle your financial matters. To refuse would be a terrible insult to our lord. He just needs to say yes to everything or it's not proper or insulting. It's like a polite jail. I refuse all of this. I came here under clear terms with Toranaga. Oof. Now he's bloody vanished. And I'm bloody prisoner all over again. Yeah. Just with better living quarters. That's... You could be dead, so... Like, is it what you want? No. Could it be a lot worse? Yeah. Oh boy, these guys. I do think they're in over their heads. This is all gonna come back at him. But that's because I truly believe that Toranaga is a better chess player than they are, so we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I don't. I'm not. She won't let me alone. Wherever I go, she is. It's not customary for one's consort to sleep while he's awake. You need to be awake at all times when they're awake. Damn, she went through so much and she's still doing everything that she needs to do. I believe Fujisama merits better. And recently, her husband and infant son were put to death. <sighs> so she deserves some kindness. Shouldn't she be grieving then, instead of following around marooned Englishmen? Oh, she's grieving. We grieve those we have lost by continuing their fight. The child's father served Toranaga-sama. And now being your consort allows Fujisama to do the same. I can't think about a child anymore like it. <laughs> Do not be fooled by our politeness, our bows, our maze of rituals. Beneath it all, we could be a great distance away, safe and alone. That's so nice, but also sad. We've had that already a little bit, right? With the heart that you show and then the heart that only you know what's going on in there. And there's always that distance that they create. Omisama well, insists it is forbidden to bring your weapons today. Wow, this looks so beautiful! Where I come from, you ask guests to do things. Please! <laughs> give the guns to Fujisama. She's your consort. She will give her life to defend them. I could damn well defend myself. Oh! <laughs> This is all new side to her and I like it. And he's listening. It's so funny, isn't it? He's so like burr, 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 to the other guys. And then she's like, stop it. No. And he's like, okay. Tell this milk tripling fucks me. I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> she's perfect for this role. Oh. Dude. No. Hmm. Don't mess with her. <laughs> Walk of shame away. That's very good. Very good. I think her herself must be like, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> the Portuguese brought us guns 50 years ago. We are very experienced with it. What is he going to teach them, though, if he's a sailor? Mm -hmm. This is going to be painful. 60,000 Islamic Turks, the cream of the Ottoman Empire, come against 600 Christian knights, supported by a few thousand Maltese auxiliaries at their vast castle complex at St. Elmo. Give her a break! We are taught this victory saved the whole Mediterranean seaboard and thus christened them. Sorry, you said taught? Yes. So you yourself did not fight in this battle? We're critical. This time, describe a battle you have actually fought in. He's a sailor! Well, as I may have mentioned to your lord on multiple occasions, I'm a sea pilot. I guess this was class for today. 
どうしたんじゃ Even she doesn't know what to say anymore. Please tell him that, in my opinion, gun tactics are useless compared to the fine art of English naval warfare. I was thinking, why don't you teach them to fight at sea? Just let me demonstrate. Fire! <laughs> it's interesting how he's really becoming a part of this community, like integrating a little bit. No, no, it's too early. What is going on in her mind? Is she there? Isn't his position very, like, just for now? Because once he has taught them everything, and then because of this book, Toranaga can decide at any moment to be like, well, you're pirates. Bye. I think you should remember your oath is to Toranaga-sama, and not to the orders that brought you here. It will be useful for you to know our lord will never be turned against your enemies. They fear what I can offer him. Ships built for war would be to his benefit. You have no idea what is or is not to my lord's benefit. Oof. There are also tsunami and fires that break out in the villages and cities. It is why our houses are built to go up as quickly as they come down. Oh. Because death is in our air, and sea and earth. It can come for us at any moment. Before you meddle with our politics, just remember, we live and we die. We control nothing beyond that. Damn, it's stark. I can imagine if you're living in situations where nature can turn against you like that. That's a completely different way of living than where that is not a thing. <laughs> Ooh, is he gonna become an ally with ambition? It's dangerous to think like that. Once that seeds get planted in your head of like, yeah, why am I not the Lord? That's it. Ooh, there's something going on there, right? But I feel like she would definitely be like, this is not proper. You know that Yabushige wants to be like, I'm actually on your team, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Oh boy, do you reckon that he's gonna be the new member? Mm, oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's always like you do what we say or you're an enemy. <laughs> Very visual. Oh, he's lucky. Oh boy. Smells fishy. Okay, you can see the things stirring in his mind. Yeah, like you did before, right? Mm. Oh, load of blocks. He got himself in so deep, caught between two enemies. He will be declared a fugitive for refusing their order, but if he returns to Osaka, he will no doubt be ordered to commit seppuku. So he has to choose between losing and losing. What have you got there? This may be not for you. What is that? Why are they all like acting so like <gasps> about this? I wanted to apologize. Or the way I behaved when I was first brought here. Oh. <laughs> she can't even answer, poor woman. I'd like to thank her for her excellent service to this house. Ask that she accepts this gift as a gesture of my gratitude. Those are the best guns a sailor can have, and I'll miss that one greatly. If she's one to do her job well, she'll need the best. Here is a good lady. <laughs> I love her, she's like, he's not crying, but he's he's really trying, right? So, A for effort. So offend her. Oh, damn. Fujisama as your consort, I'd like you to carry her family's swords. They are a symbol of her late father's bravery. Wow. I can't accept this. As Hatamoto, it is not proper for you to have no swords to carry, so you must accept. That's how this goes. You need to accept everything. Gozarimasuru. <laughs> That was such an intimate moment. Wonder what she thinks. I remind you that you are under no obligation to try this dish. Is it gonna be spicy? Or is it something yucky? It looks slimy. Hmm. It's a bit like cheese. What is it? Very stinky. Possibly spoiled cheese. But uh, quite enjoyable. 
<laughs> They're just giggling. Just bad cheese. Tare mo kare mo washi o mikubi itte ore. Washi nado mino wara no fushou no segare. Mijuku mono ni sugine to. Shikashi. Ima koso wari ra nani hajime yo. O tsuchue no irushi ga nai mo mo ekusa o hajimeru no ga ikaga ka kato. Tsuchue mo onaji yona koto yuto utta. We have a lot of people in the second row wanting to be in the first row. Nephews, sons. Dora naga sama ni o wakari itadaku koto sae dekireba. Tsuchue ga hito no hanashi o kika na kara na. Ooh. Shikara basu. に我らの戦略を披露するしか手はないのでございまするな。オミダの父上に文を送れてないぞ。私に考えがある。おお、what <gasps> are we Hi, Jean Yi. I also wanted you to know you're wrong about my service in Ajiro. It has nothing to do with the church. She's just coming closer and closer, isn't she? Many years ago, a great injustice stole everything from me. For a long time, I have been unable to seek resolution for what happened. But recently, Toranaga somehow fired me away. What happened? That needs resolution. That's the only house. And here I see a magic woman and one who owes me no explanations. Oh, like that. What is the name of it again? The city of your birth? London. A city like Osaka? Well... <laughs> nothing like Osaka. What would you do there? On a night like this? This is such a sweet moment. Well, if you were with me. Hmm. All the way from the Japans. I take you to see my queen. It's definitely something we do every weekend. I have an appointment with the King of Belgium in next week too. Sit down for a stuffy dinner. And then to make up for it, I take us all to see a play. And after that? Ooh, this is getting 18 plus. We eat some poor suru along the Thames. Runs right through the city and at night it's really, it's quite something. And you can almost forget yourself. And all your troubles and your past and all the ways life seems to leave you wrecked. Aww. They all just disappear. And then you are free. Oh, there's so much going on within her. And it definitely seems like Fui is not where she is right now. I like this episode a lot. It's super intimate, but like in a serene, romantic way. More than a sex on the screen way. That happened, but you know what I mean, right? More like that deeper connection, even when it's not per se romantic. <gasps> this pillowing being offered. But that's um, Fuji, right? Not Mariko? Are we supposed to know? I, I feel so dumb. The courtesan was acceptable then. Fuji Sama and I thought she would make a pleasing gift. Wait, it was someone completely else? I don't understand. You're not uh... jealous. <laughs> that was a very thoughtful gift. <laughs> that's so awkward. Damn. Okay. I'm very curious how that's gonna evolve. People watching this show with their spouse are like, yeah, no, no, I would never want that gift, honey. No, not me. Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. He's not even impressed. Oh! Hey, what the f? He's like, calm the f down. How is he still alive? <laughs> yeah, no more yours and it is war. The kid went nuts. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I don't even know what to say. Like you have all these people and they're so like I don't know, strict. And like they hate each other, but they keep calm and they try to do trickery and all of that, but never like bomb. And this child is just like <sniffs> all through them, chopped off by like you would think that as the son of he would be more diplomatic, but he's also young. It's interesting to see him and Omi thinking like, oh, what if we were lords? What if we were more important? Oh, what if we, we, we? And he acted on it wow this is gonna be a problem and also it's so crazy because basically one act that is not approved by 
Toronaga whatsoever, and still the consequences are gonna be for all of them. Ishido is gonna be mad. I have to say that I find it quite interesting because everything is always so calculated, and then you have just literally and figuratively. Wow, okay. <laughs> I feel like this episode was so mellow and I was like, you know what, I like it. A little bit of deep conversations, giving each other gifts, getting to know each other, fellow gifts. Mm, bomb, cannonball. <laughs> what an ending. In a sense, that's nice because I, I feel like when you make a show like that, that also means that you do acknowledge that you have a less intense episode, but you're not gonna leave your viewers hanging. No, you're gonna immediately like spark something so everybody immediately wants to have the adrenaline rush again and wants to watch the next episode. Well done, honestly, I'm captivated. <laughs> boy oh boy that was something i really enjoyed this episode and the ending i feel like is gonna spark things up it's gonna be interesting and i'm here for it i want to see everything else immediately but i have to wait so <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this reaction if you like it make sure to like and subscribe and as always you can find the edited versions and full length versions on patreon and two weeks ahead so if you can't wait for next episodes go make sure i never can do this very well but to check out patreon because it helps me a lot so i can work with editors and hopefully you can find something that you enjoy as well all right i wish you a lovely rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one bye